Howdy folks, my name is Richard Procopio, aka Bog Otter, and I'm here to give you a preview of upcoming festivities in Guild Wars 2. The Dragon Bash celebration will launch on Tuesday, June 11th, and there are many things for players to explore. Now, this, this celebration does pay homage to the Dragon Festival from Guild Wars 1, but unlike the old holiday, Dragon Bash is not about revering dragons. You know, the Elder Dragons have not been good for draconic and humanoid relations, so the dragons are generally viewed as a horrible thing to be around. So the Captain's Council and Lion's Arch are sparing no expense in a festival meant to unify Tyria against the threat of dragons. As with any holiday in Guild Wars 2, Lion's Arch will be decorated for Dragon Bash. The Mystic Forge has a new terrifying visage. The Fountain in the Grand Piazza has a hologram emitter lighting up the sky with a terrifying image of the Shatterer. And many other decorations can be seen throughout Lion's Arch and the Mist's PvP lobby. Players will be able to partake in many different Dragon Bash activities. Pinatas can be smashed and opened and reward Zytaffy candy. If you bash enough pinatas, you can unlock the Paper Dragon achievement. Eat enough of the taffy and you get the Zai Tasty achievement. In addition to eating the taffy for the Sugar Rush buff and achievements, you can also use them as a currency on a vendor in the Traders Forum to purchase food buffs, fireworks, and jaw breakers. 100 jaw breakers can earn you the Holographic Dragon Wing Back Piece, which looks amazing and can be sold on the trading post. If amassing 100,000 bits of candy isn't your thing, though, you can still get dragon wings in a different way. There's another version of the back piece called Holographic Shatter Dragon Wing cover that can be acquired by doing Dragon Bash achievements. You'll need to complete 10 of the possible 14 achievements to get this backpack. Players can also shoot off firework consumable items to progress the Color the Sky achievement. And for those with a penchant for gambling, you can head over to the Far Shore Ward on the eastern end of Lion's Arch and place your bets. MOA racing is a new activity that will be a permanent feature in the game. There's going to be four regular MOAs and one of three mystery MOAs that will race around the track. Betting costs 50 silver, and if you win, you get vouchers depending on what place your MOA comes in. First place gets seven vouchers, second place gets three vouchers, and third place gets one. The racetrack vouchers can be redeemed for bags containing prize money or saved up to purchase a mini MOA racer complete with Dragon Helmet. The miniature is 125 racetrack vouchers, and guessing the winning MOA counts towards the Winner Circle achievement. Outside of Lion's Arch, there are many projectors scattered through the world that will emit holographic dragon minions to fight. Defeating them will often reward you with dragon coffers. And the So Lifelike achievement is achieved by defeating these creatures. The coffers can be opened up for Zytaffy, Fireworks, a mini holographic dragon minion, and a rare chance for a Dragon's Jade Claim ticket, which can be exchanged for awesome new weapon skins. Coffers also have a very rare chance to grant the holographic dragon wings. Dragon Ball is a new PvP minigame that is absolutely a blast. You can access this in the Mystic Plaza. This is a team-based PvP competition. It's fast-paced deathmatch-style arena that drew inspiration from Quake and Unreal. Players are sped up and can use jump pads to fly around the vertical arena, and there's no falling damage. Players can fire Super Dragon Spheres at each other in order to gain points for knocking out the competition. Power-ups are scattered all over the map, and they add new abilities to your hotbar that last until you need to respawn. And there's also an invisibility power-up, blue onks which restore your health, and a dragon damage power-up. The power-ups all spawn in set locations, allowing players to gain skill as they learn the secrets of the map. I'll even give you a pro tip, you can jump higher on the jump pads by dodge rolling over them. The first team to score 500 points wins the match. The winning team is rewarded with a Dragon Coffer, while the losing team gets Zytaffy. And players can work towards the Dragon Ball boss achievement for winning their matches. Starting on Friday, June 14th, and lasting until the morning of Monday, June 17th, a grand fireworks show will take place in Lion's Arch. This pyrotechnic display will run every two hours, and players who watch the fireworks pelt the holographic shatterer will receive an achievement and a set of dragon helms. Okay, these dragon helms are combat armor, they're not town clothes, and you will get a light, a medium, and a heavy one to share across the characters on your account. So make sure you log in sometime during Friday, June 14th through Monday, June 17th, the morning of Monday, June 17th, to actually get one of these. 
And if all of this content wasn't enough for Dragon Bash, stay tuned next week when even more Dragon Bash content will become available. It looks like there's going to be something for everyone in this Dragon Bash celebration, but we're interested in hearing your feedback. Let us know in the comments below what is your favorite part of what is upcoming in Guild Wars 2. Hope this video preview is helpful to you, and I hope you have a great day.